hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to see how we can publish our dht11 sensor data from node mcu to any mqtt broker so our mqtt client can read those sensor value here i have used dht11 sensor but you can also use some other sensor to test this code okay so you can find this code on our blog as well as you can find connection diagram on our blog that our d4 gpio2 pin is connected with dht11 sensor so let me go to our arduino code so our dht sensor is dht11 type here you have to specify your ssid and password for your uh, wi-fi connection after that uh, here you can see mqtt server so i have specified my system ip address as a mqtt server or you can say mqtt broker because if i open my task manager and if i go to services and then if i search for mosquito you can see my mqtt mosquito broker is up and running in my local system okay so that is why i have specified the ip address of my system so if you want to know where we can find ip address of our system so you have to open the command prompt and you have to type ip config so you can see 192.168.1.7 which i have specified here now ip address is okay our ssid and password and then after i have defined some topic the value of this sensor is going inside this topic so main topic is a sensor after that we have a subtopic dht11 type sensor and after that humidity temperature and fahrenheit okay and after that i have set up the wi-fi and all and here you have to specify port number of your mqtt broker so if you are connecting with some cloud mqtt broker then the port number may be different in that case so you have to specify that port number here and you have to specify your uh, broker ip address or broker link here okay and then after uh, as normally we are going to read the dht11 sensor value we are going to read it and then as you can see here client dot publish temperature celsius topic which we have defined here so temperature celsius topic okay and uh, in that topic we want to publish as a string what we want to publish we want to publish variable t so what is variable t so variable t is a float type value of my dht temperature okay and you can also see the uh, f stands for temperature in fahrenheit t stands for temperature in celsius and h stands for humidity so i'm going to publish these three values to my mosquito broker which is running in my local system and some other client will read those values so we will first compile this code and we will upload this code in our node mcu okay so i have connected node mcu with my uh, system so let me upload this code so my code is compiling okay so our code is being uploaded into our node mcu device okay now we will open our serial monitor here So Wi-Fi is connected. You can see uh, my node MCU is connected to my Wi-Fi and it is trying to attempt the communication with our Mosquito MQTT broker. But as you can see, attempting MQTT connection failed. So our node MCU is not able to make connection with our Mosquito broker. So in this case, what we will do? So there are two possibilities that our port 1883 is blocked in our system by firewall so we, our uh, node mcu will not able to publish that data to our mosquito broker so first of all we will go to our firewall okay windows defender firewall here and then we will go to advanced setting and here we will set one inbound rule so set a new rule and then we want to enable port okay so any external system can request on this port so we have to select here port and then we have to next it's our tcp port so we only want 1883 port 
for our MQTT communication. So we will select here 1883 and then we will press next. Now we want to allow all the connection on 1883 port. So I'll allow the connection and then I'll press next. And then again, I'll press next and it is my MQTT broker port. Okay. And then we will press on finish. Now we will minimize this and close this one. Also, you can see there is no connection. So it means that our MQTT is not able to connect with our mosquito broker and we have already enabled that port but still it is not able to connect so let me open mqtt explorer here so mqtt explorer okay now we will go to our mosquito connection and you can see here what ip address i have specified as a mosquito broker so you can see here IP address I have specified as a MQTT server or you can say our mosquito broker IP address I have specified is this one. So let me try to connect with this IP address. So control V uh, port number 1883 and then connect. So you can see here even my MQTT explorer is not able to connect with this IP address and port number. So still there is some issue. So we here we have to do some port forwarding which I have covered in my previous video. So let me go to our blog. So we have to use this one port forwarding from LAN IP to local IP. Okay. So you can see my wireless LAN adapter IP is this one and my mosquito broker IP is my local host IP. So if I try to connect uh, 127.0.0.1. Okay, then I'm able to connect with 127.0.0.1, but I'm not able to connect with my uh, IP address. Okay, so that is why we have to forward our port from LAN IP and port to local IP and port. So that is why. So for that, we have to use this command. So we will copy this. We will open our CMD in an administrative mode. So run as administrator. Yes, and we will paste it here and then we will enter. So we have set up our configuration, port forwarding configuration. Now we will check our configuration. So you can see whatever request my node MCU is giving to this IP address and this port number that will be forward to this IP address and this port number. So now my node MCU will able to publish data to this IP address. So this IP address is connected to this IP address and this port is connected to this port. So we have a tunnel. So our node MCU will able to publish uh, data on our mosquito broker. So if I open my MQTT Explorer and if I connect with this IP address, you can see I am able to connect and you can see number of messages increasing. So it means that our node MCU is publishing data. So let me go to our Arduino and if I scroll down, then you can see at this time attempting MQTT connection connected. So our node MCU is connected with our mosquito broker and it is publishing data. So if I go here and if I expand it, so ignore this three topic, uh, MQTT, our node MCU is not going to publish data on this three topic, but it will publish data on this three topic. So if I select any one topic and if I want a history of that topic, okay, so let me open the history of temperature Fahrenheit. Okay, so you can see here the data is publishing by node MCU and we are having some graph here. So let me go to, okay, fail to read from DHT sensor. So my DHT sensor is not working properly. Okay, that is great. Let me do something. Okay, so now it is publishing data. Now it's still facing some problem. Okay, now it is publishing data. All good. So let me place it again. Okay, so it got disconnected. Okay, it is connected now. Fail to read from DHT sensor again.
Okay, so my DAT sensor is malfunctioning right now, so we are not able to uh, get the data properly, but uh, you can see here um, our value is changing and we are having graphs here as well. So let me try one more time. Okay, now maybe it is working perfect, right? Okay, problem again. Okay, so sometime it is working and sometime it is not working, but you can see here that we are getting some data as well as for temperature Celsius also we will get some data. So let me open temperature Celsius and let me open history for that. So here is a history. Also, we have a history for humidity as well. Okay, so here is the history for temperature Celsius, Fahrenheit and humidity. So whenever your node MCU is publishing data, we have a graph here and we have a history here. So this is how you can publish your any sensor value from your node MCU to any MQTT broker. Okay, so if you have a broker in your Windows machine and if this port proxy is not enabled, then you cannot publish your data from your node MCU to your Mosquito broker. Okay, and you must have to enable this uh, uh, port, for, uh, port in order to uh, get data from your node MCU inside your system. So you have to make your uh, inbound rule first for MQTT broker port and then after you have to uh, add a port proxy so any request come on this IP address will forward to this IP address so in that case our node MCU will completely able to publish our data into our mosquito broker which is in our local system okay so I hope everything is clear in this video and you will find uh, uh, that code Arduino code or Nord MCU code on our blog okay and you will find that uh, uh, port proxy commands for Windows machine here on our blog as well I'll paste that two links in the description of this video so you will go there and you can use this command and code so I hope everything is clear in this video and if you still have any doubt in this then you can ask me in the comment section or you can mail me or you can also ping me on Instagram so if you want to ping me on Instagram just go to our blog and then you can see the icon here Instagram or you can see the icon here Telegram so you can ping me on both so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you